Good morning, my student. Today we revise chapter 11, 12, and 13. Two shapes. The first is rectangle, and second is square. Then we have here two shapes. The first is rectangle, and the second is square. Then look at the first one, the rectangle. The rectangle, the rectangle is called length multiply with the length is 7 and the width is 2.5 then 7 multiply 7 meter multiply 2.5 meter 7 meter multiply 2.5 meter equals 17.5 meter square or square meter and the point after one decimal place because we have here only one decimal then it's the first the area of the first part. The second is a square because the sides are equal. Then area of square equal side multiply side equal 2.5 meter multiply 2.5 meter. Then the answer is 6.25 cubic square meter or meter square because we have decimal one decimal place. One decimal is the answer after two decimal places. Then the area of this rectangle is 17.5 meters square and the area of square is equal 6.25 meters square. I need the total here. Then the total equal 17.5 because the first 17.5 plus 6.25. The answer is 23.75 meter square. Look at the second one. Second question number five. We have here three rectangle but these three rectangle are equal in area because the length is four and the width is one and third four and one and third four and one third then you can calculate the area of one rectangle and then multiply it by three we can get or calculate the first one of these rectangles the area of this one of this rectangle and then when you get the result, multiply it by 3. Then, at first, the area equal area of rectangle equal length multiply with. Then, 1.3 multiplied by 4. Convert 1 and 3 to fraction 4. Then, 1 multiplied 3 equals 3 plus 1 equals 4. Then, 4 divided by 3. Multiply. 4 means 4 divided by 1. Then, 4 multiplied 4 equals 16. And 3 multiplied 3, 1 equals 3. Then the answer is the area of one square, one rectangle equals to 16 out of 3 inch square. Then we can multiply the result. This one only 16 divided by 3. And this one also 16 divided by 3 inch square. And this one is also 16 divided by 3 inch square. You can, you can take 16 divided by 3 inch square multiplied by 3. Then 16 divided by 3 multiplied by 3. And 3 you can put it the fraction 4 plus 3 divided by 1. We can uh, we can simplify three and three. Three is this three is in the numerator and this is the denominator. Then both of them divisible by three. By three equal one. Divide three equal and then the answer is sixteen multiply one equal sixteen inch square. We have another yes another shape. Use formula to find the area. This shape, we can divide this shape into three parts. Look, uh, if we draw this line, we have a rectangle. If we draw another line here, we have another rectangle. And then how many shapes are there? These shapes were divided by three parts. The first, second, the third. This is the first is A, the second is B, and the third is C. Then we can calculate the area of each part. Then we get the total, find the sum of A, the area of A, and the area of B, and the area of C. A, it's a rectangle, and the area of rectangle is length multiply with. Then the length is here, 11 multiply with is four. Then 11 feet multiply, four feet is the answer is 11 multiplied for equal 44 square feet. This is the area of the first part. The second part B, it's also a 
Yes, rectangle and the area of rectangle is equivalent multiplied with dot. You can hear, you can see here. Is it four? Yes, and it's also four. And all this is twelve. Then you can subtract here three and three. Three and three equals eight. Eight. Then subtract the twelve, multiply eight. Here is four, and here is four. Then the remainder should be four because four. And the four equals eight. The twelve minus eight equals four. Then this lens, or the measure, the measure of this lens is equal to four. Then this part is four, and this part is four, and this part is four. Then four multiply what? We need this. We need this point. This the, the red line. This small red line. Look, this line is all. All is eleven. All of if this line, the length of this line is 11, and this part, the black part here is 9. Then 9, 11 minus 9 equals 2. Then the length of this red line is 2. This 2 and this line is 4. Then the area equal 4 feet multiplied, 2 feet equals 8 feet square. Look at the third, it's like the, the first, A and C, both of them equal the same area. Then, yes, 11 multiply 4, 11 feet multiply 4 feet equal 44 square feet. Then we have calculated, we calculated the A, the big, the area of A, and the area of B, and the area of C. Area of A, area of B, area of C, and then to find the total, find the sum. 44 feet square plus 8 feet square and plus 44 feet square, then the answer is 96 feet square. We have another one, another question here. But I need to divide it, this shape into four, maybe four shape parts or five parts. Look, uh, we draw this line, then we have a shape. A part rectangle. Oh, draw another line here. Then we have another shape. Three and four. Look. The first part is what we called A. And the second is B. And the third is C. And the fourth is D. Then we have A, B, C, and D. A, B, C and D. Look, the first A is very easy because the length is 18 and the width is 9. Then it's very easy. Then area of A equals 18 inch multiply 9 inches equals 162 square inch. That's very easy. Look at letter B or the part B. I need this line. This line is 8. Good. This line is 8 and this line is 8. I need this line. This line is 18. And this part is equal to this part. This 9. And this black line is 9 also. But the, the old line segment, the length of this old side lenses is 18. This line segment is 18. And this black line is Nine. Then the remainder here, 18 minus 9 is equal to 9. Then this red line is 9 inch and the width is 9, then, uh, 8. Then the area of P is 9, this 9 multiply 8, 9 multiply 8 equals 72 square inch. Look at C, the part C here. Oh, the part C. We said before, this line, oh, this line is 12. This line is 12. And this part is 7. Look here, 7. Then again, this 12, this 12, and this all, this point is 7. The remainder, 12 minus 7 equal 5. Why we said 5? Because it's a 7, and this point is 5. 5 plus 7 equal 12. This is 12, and this is 7, and this also 5. Then 5 and the 7 equal 12. Then the point, this red line is equal to 5. Equal to 5. 
What about this? What about this line? Look here. This line is 21 inch, 21 inch. And this part is six. This part is six. This part is six. And this part is nine. Then we have nine and the six. This part is nine and this part is six. Nine, six equal 15. Again, then 21 minus 15 is equal to 29 minus one, 29, 20, sorry, 21 minus 15 is equal to six. Okay, then this point is here, five, and this line is six. Then six multiply five equal 30. Six multiply five equal 30. Look at the last part here is D. It's very easy, the, the length, we have length and width, 12 inch and six, 12 and six. It's very easy. It's also rectangular length multiplied with this, 12 multiplied six equals 72 and square inch. Then we have the area of first part A, and the area of part B, and the area of part C, and the area of part D. Then we need the total area. The total area is the sum of areas for all. Then area is, this one is 162 inch square inch, and this part is 72 inch square, and this part is 30 inch square, and this part is 72 inch square, then the total of them equal 12 yard. And we have base two, 21 yard. And we have a height, it's four yard. Then the formula is here, area of two equal half, base one plus base two, multiplied by height. By substitute, half base one substitute by 12, and base two substitute by 21, then half multiplied 12 plus 21 in brackets multiplied by 4. Then half multiplied 12 plus 21 equal 33, multiplied by 4. Try to get half of 4. It's very easy. Half of 4, half of 4 equals 2. Then 2 multiply 33 again. Half of four, half of four equal to two. two multiply thirty three equal sixty six square yard. We have another question number two. We have base one nine feet. We have base two twelve feet. We have height equal twelve feet, and this is our formula. Area of trapezoid equal half base one plus base two in brackets multiplied by height. By substitute, A equals half, yes, multiply. Base one is equal, equals uh, 12 plus nine, 12 plus nine, okay. 12 plus nine multiplied by height, height is equal 12. Then half multiply 12 and nine, 12 and the nine equal, Yes, 21. Then half multiply 21 multiply 12. Is it easy half of 21 or it's easy half to half 12? Yes, half of 12 is equal 6. It's very easy, but it's difficult to find half of 21. I need to... Yes, well, no number. Then half of 12 is equal 6. Then the answer is 6 multiply what? 21. How we get 6? Because say half of 12 equals 6 multiply 21. Then six multiply one equals six, and six multiply two equal twelve. Then the answer is one hundred twenty-six square feet. Question number three. Yes. Base one is equal nine. Base two is equal seventeen, and height is eleven. And this is our formula. Area of trapezoid equal half base one plus base two multiplied by height. Why substitute? Half, half, yes, area equal, half multiply 17 plus 9 in brackets multiplied by 11. Then 17 plus 9, 17 plus 9. Calculated it first is the brackets. Yes, then half multiply 26 multiply 11. Is it easy half of 26 or it is easy half and half 11? Yes, half of 26 is. Yes, 13. Then half of 
26 is 13. Then the answer is 13 multiplied 11. 13 multiplied 11 equal 143 square meat. 143 square meat. Number four. The first base, the length of the first base is 1.6 inch. The second base, or the, we can say the shortest base and the longest base. Then the second base, 3.4 inch. And the height is 1.1 inch. By substitute the, the, the formula, area of trapezoid, trapezoid equal half base 1 plus base 2 multiplied by height. Then half multiply 1.6 plus 3.4 in brackets multiply by height 1.1 calculate it firstly you can calculate yes 1 and 3 is equal 4 and 4 tenths and 6 tenths equals 1 then or can say 4 and 6 equal 10 0 and carry up 1 1 and 3 4 4 and 1 equal 5 then 1.6 plus 3.4 equals the 5 then the answer is half multiply 5 multiply 1.1 okay now you multiply half of five, half of five is 2.5. Half of five means two and a half. It means 2.5 multiply 11 equal by multiplying equals the result will be after two decimal places because we have hit one after one decimal and this one after one, one decimal place. Then both of them will multiply both the point after two decimal places. And the answer is 2.75 square inch number five find the area of e yes we have base one is 21 millimeter base two 60 millimeter and the height is 14 millimeter by substitute that our formula area of trapezoid equal half base one plus base two multiplied by height area equal half multiply 21 plus plus 16 multiply multiply by 14 21 and 16 yes 37 then half multiply 37 multiply 14 is it easy to get half of 37 or half of 14 yes half of 14 is it's very easy see you can get it half of 14 is 7 then it's a 7 multiply 37 half of 14 is 7 7 multiply 30 7 equals 7 multiply 7 equal 49, 9 and the carry of 4, and the 4 multiply 3 equal 21, and the 4 equal 25 square millimeter. So, number 6, we have base 1, 11 and a half feet, base 2, 9 and a half feet, and height is 8 feet. Then, by substitute in our formula, area of trapezoid equal half base 1 plus base 2, in brackets multiply by height. Yes, area equal half multiply, half multiply, 11 and a half plus 9 and a half multiplied by 8. Calculated the sum, the sum. We have 9 and 11 is, 9 and 11, yes, 9 and 11 is, yes, good, 20 and 1 equal half and half mean 1, means 1, then the answer is 20. One, then half multiply, 21 multiply 8. Is it easy to get half of 21 or half of 8? Half of 21 or half of 8? Half of 8 is very easy. Yes, half of 8 is equal to 4. Half of 8 equals 4. Half of 8, half of 8 equals 4. Then 4 multiply 21 equal. 4 multiply 1 equal 4. And 4 multiply 2 equal 8. Then the answer is 84 squared area of each uh, triangle then the area of triangle equal half multiply base multiply height look number one what is the base the base and the height both of them are perpendicular then this base and this height may be opposite this is the base and this height in both of them are right then area equal half multiply eight multiply six or half Multiply six, multiply eight. Then half of eight, half of eight, half of it is equal four. Half of it equal four. Then four multiply six equal twenty-four square meter, a square centimeter. Look number two. What is the base here? This is the base. Ten feet is base, and this is the height. This is the base, and this one is the height. 
Then area equal. Half multiply 10 is a base, multiply height is 8. Half of 10, half of 10 is 5. Then 5 multiply 8 equal 40 square feet. Number 3, where is the base here? This is the base. 30 centimeter is the base. And 12 is the height. Base and the height. Then area equal. Half multiply 30, multiply 12. Half multiply, half multiply 30, multiply 12 is equal to half of 30 is 15, multiply 12 equal 180 square centimeter. This is the base and this is the height. Five yard base and two yard is high. Then area of triangle is equal to half multiply two, multiply five, or half multiply five, multiply two. We put half multiply two because it's very easy. Half multiply two, half multiply two, mean half of two is one. One multiply five equal five yard, square yard, five square yard. Now find the area of each triangle. We have look at this table. This is the area of triangle, the base, height, and the area. We said before, the area of triangle equal half multiply base, multiply height. Then half multiply 10, multiply five. Half of 10, half of 10 is five. Five multiply five equal 25 square feet. 25 square feet. Look at the second question number 10. Eight point, uh, yes. Area equal half multiply, 8.4 multiply, 5.1. Then half of 8.4 is 4.2. Multiply 5.1 equal 21.42 meter square. Look at the third. Area equals half multiply, 5 and half mean 5.5 multiply 9. Then half, you can say half of 9, half of 9 is 3. Half of nine is three. Three multiply what? Three multiply 5.5 equal 16.5 square yard. Okay, the next is, is find the area of each parallelogram. We said before, area of parallelogram equal base multiply height. Where is the base? This is our base. And this is our height. The base is four, the height of three. Then four. Is the base multiply height 3 equal 12 square centimeter? What is the base? This 18 is the base. Inch and the height is 12 inch. Then area equal 18 inch multiply 12 inch equal 216 square inch. Number 7. What is the base? This is the base and this height. Or opposite. This is the base and this is the height. Both of them are correct. Then you can say 15 millimeter multiply 7.5 millimeter also opposite both of them. Then 15 multiply 7.5 equal 112.5 square millimeter. Number eight, what is the base? This is the base and this is the height. This is our base and this is our height. Then one and two thirds multiply one and four fifths. Base multiply height. Okay. You can convert it both to fraction form. Then 1 multiply 3 equals 3 plus 2 equals 5. Then 5 divided by 3. 1 multiply 5 equals 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 divided by 5. By simplifying 5 and the 5. Both of them divisible by 5. Divided 5 equals 1. Divided 5 equals 1. Then the remainder is 9 divided 3. Because 5 Simplify it 5 and 5 both, then its remainder is 1. 1 multiply 9 equals 9, and 1 multiply 3 equals 3. 1 multiply 3 equals 3, then 9 divided 3 equals 3 squared. We are the number the same, yes. Okay, then 20% of mean 20% to mean 20 divided by 100. Multiply by 80, multiply by 80, then. 20 multiply 80 divided by 100. 20 multiply 80 divided by, why? Because 80 means 80 divided by one. The denominator of 80 is one. Then 20 multiply 80 and 100 multiply one equal 100. Then 1,600 divided by 100 equals 16 divided one because it's divided, uh, divisible, both of them divisible by 100. 16 divided one equal 16. 
discount and sell price discount and sell price look at these two rules discount equals rate of discount multiply list price and sell price sp equal list price minus discount look at this question run notebook a notebook the regular the regular price was 4.50 dollar it was discounted 20 percent how much did ronald pay we have here two numbers what is this number 4.50 dollar is it the discount no is it array or list the price yes it's a list of price and the 20 percent mean refer to is the rate of discount rate of discount then we have two numbers here 20 percent means rate of discount and 4.50 dollar means the list of price to solve to solve or to get the discount and the sell price we have two rules that we said before discount equal rate of discount multiplied by list of price and we have both here then discount equal rest of this uh, rest of discount is rate of discount is 20 percent multiply 4.5 dollar then 20 percent means 0 0.20 multiply 4.50 then the answer is look at here we should that put down to zero to zero and then to multiply 45 equal 90 then with the point here to decimal place and we have decimal place for two decimal places then pause is four decimal places one two three four and then both the point since the answer is 0 0.9 thousands dollar 0 0.9 we can say 0 0.9 or 999 tenth we can say 90 hundredths or 900 thousands or 9000 ten thousands dollar going to the second steps sell price equal list price minus discount we have both here list price is 4.50 minus discount is you get a discount yes then we put here two zero two zeros to be four decimal places and four decimal places then we can subtract then the answer is 3.60 dollar then we get the discount and we get the sale price sales tax and total cost sales tax mean t is equal to rate of sales tax multiply market price and the second rule total cost equals market price minus sales tax our question here is a video game cost 82.25 dollar plus six percent sales tax find the sales tax and you can get also the total cost then we have here two numbers the first number is market price 82.25 dollar and the second number here is six percent means the rate of sales tax I need here the sales tax sales tax equals yes rate of sales tax multiplied market price then so, uh, rate here six percent multiplied 82.25 converted from decimal fraction uh, sorry from percent to decimal six hundred six percent means six divided by 100 means six hundred then 0 0.06 multiplied by 82.25 then the answer is 4.935 4.935 dollar then we get sales tax and we have also need to get total cost total cost equal market price minus sales tax equals the market price here we get we we know what uh, 82.25 minus sales tax we get it 4.935 we bought here another zero to be three decimal places here 
then when to subtract the answer will be 77.315 77.315 dollar okay chapter 13 we have two lessons chapter 13 the first is measure metric length oh that we said before we have here i tell you before when we rename large units as a smaller unit multiplied by power of failure each place multiply 10 10 10 10 and so on down if when we rename smaller units as larger unit we divide it by power of 10 each move 10 10 10 okay then rename each unit of measure letter a 3.5 kilometer equal dots meter now we is it rename from larger unit as smaller or from smaller unit as larger units kilometer and meter kilometer is more than then we need to rename larger larger as smaller then from kilometer to look at for where is a kilometer here yes here is a kilometer converted meter one two three each time multiply here is uh multiply 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 then multiply by what 1000 then 3.5 multiply by thousand mean move the decimal point three places but going to the right why to the right because the number would be increased more then 3.5 the boy into here one and then two both zero and three both zero then we'll put down two zero then the answer is 3500 meter 3500 meter letter b 150 millimeter equal to centimeter look here is it renamed from larger unit as smaller or the opposite millimeter and centi millimeter and centi millimeter is less than then we rename smaller smaller as larger then divided look at from millimeter to this to centimeter divided by 10 then move the decimal point one place here is a decimal point then back to one decimal place then the answer is 15 centimeter letter c 120 centimeter equal dots meter then is it rename as larger to small as smaller or the opposite centimeter and meter centimeter here is the smaller and the meter is bigger then we need the opposite yes rename smaller as yes as larger then divided by what here is the centimeter is the meter they move how many decimal one two not decimal how many jumping one two again one two then divided ten divided ten mean divided by 100 then both the decimal point two places move it to the right to the left one two the point is between one and the two then the answer is 1.2 meter letter d 775 meter equal dots kilometer oh is it rename smaller as larger or the opposite we have meter and the kilometer meter is smaller than kilometer meter is smaller here is meter and there is kilometer then going from this way yes from here from meter to kilometer then the opposite is rename smaller as larger move one two three three places mean divided by one thousand divided by one thousand equal move the move three places one two three the point here the first then the answer is 0 0.775 uh, okay the last question today was us uh, measure metrics uh, capacity and mass and the mass we have this another table this table same similar like the previous lesson okay and the same yes when we rename larger unit as smaller unit multiplied by power of 10 it's the opposite if you rename smaller unit as larger unit divided by power of 10 okay uh, okay rename each unit of measure Letter A, 85 milligram equal dot centigram. Where is the milligram here? The milligram here. 
Where is centigram? You see here, then it's renamed from smaller to larger, from smaller to larger. Is it divided? Yes, yeah, divided by 10. Why 10? Because it moved jumping one, one, one. Then divided by 10. Then 8.5 by 10 moves to point one place. Then the point is between eight and the five. Then the answer is 8.5 centigrade. Letter B. 16,000 milligram equal milliliter equal dots liter. 16,000 milliliter equal dots liter. Where is milliliter? Yes. Where is the liter? It is the liter then. Is it rename larger or smaller or rename smaller as larger? No. Smaller as larger. Then divided by. Look at me. One, two, three. Means three zero means 1,000 divided by 1,000. 16,000 divided by 1,000 moves this point three places. One, two, three. Then the point is here, 16, 16 liter. Okay, letter C. 2,300 gram equal dots kilogram. Gram to kilogram from smaller, yes, smaller, yes, smaller as greater. Smaller as greater. Then, where is it? Yes, where is gram? Here is gram. Where is kilogram? Yes, from this way. Look, smaller. How many? One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. Then, from gram to kilogram, divided by 1,000. Then, the point to move three decimal places to the left. One, two, three. Then, the point is between two and three. Then, 2.3. Okay, letter D, letter D. 520 hectogram equal dot gram. Hmm, which one is bigger? Is it, yes, from bigger or larger to the smaller? From larger to smaller. From larger to smaller. Then divide or multiply, multiply. What? One, two. How many multiple? Multiply it in, multiply it in, mean multiply by 100 equal 5, yes, 520 multiply 100. How many zeros put down in 3, 0? And 52 divided by 1 equals 2, then the answer is 5, 52,000, 52,000, 52,000. Okay, thank you, my student.